And how about everyone? I'm here at the Disney Infinity booth. Uh, I'm with Mr. Troy. Uh, how are you, Mr. Troy? Doing great. Good to meet you. Are you uh, are you having fun playing Disney Infinity? Oh yeah, this is a great. This is a lot of fun here. <laughs> okay, so why don't you tell us about this? What are, what's what are you doing right now? Okay, so I'm playing in the toy box right now. The toy box is kind of the center of Disney Infinity. This is where you're able to bring all your different toys from anywhere that you've collected from the play sets, bring them together, edit, and create your own fantastic world. Play with any character you want. So right now I've got Tonto. He's come out of the Lone Ranger play set. So I can run around with him, but if I want, any time I can swap him out with any of the other characters. In this case, I'm going to swap him right now. You can see now I've got... Wow, that was really fast. I'm actually... That was pretty good. Yes, yeah, so it swaps out immediately. And because we're in the toy box, we also have these little coins here. They're actually called power discs. These power discs bring in various elements into the toy box so that you can play with anything from anywhere. So in this case, I just changed the background so it's all Rapunzel's kingdom. If I want to change that out, so it'll now ask me, then it'll change the background. You can see how the whole sky changes oh, and everything. Wow, that like is that. Awesome. There's all these ways to collect. The thing is, I am connected right next door, so we're synced. So the game oh, is- Oh, actually, yeah. If you, if you actually look over there, yeah. uh, if you look over there, that's, that's your world, right? Yes, yeah, so we are synced. So I'm playing with John at the same time. So. I can run around and play with him, and we actually support up to four players playing together. So, so does this like, are you like uh, hosting a match right now, or like, yeah, yeah. Toy? okay. Yeah, so we're, so we're playing together. Here I just jumped into a car from Tron, and you can see I've got rockets put on there. So the whole idea behind Toy Box is it's play your way. We want you to be able to mix and match anything you can think of, anything you've unlocked. Create your own worlds, change your environments, change the scenes, change the characters to play with. We even have rule sets that you can change too, so that you can make games as you go along um, and just get a really fun experience. Uh, we want to bring imagination in so that yeah. players are doing whatever they want. So, here so, so right now you can turn this level into a racing level? Yeah, if I wanted to, I could go through and spend some time building um, with John to make it into a racing world. We've actually got some all sorts of other things already in here built we can take a look at as well. So I've got rockets here on my Tron, Tron gun there. <laughs> Then we've got an elephant. So right now we're just kind of in this crazy location. Let me come over here, I'll show you. There's an elephant. I'll go riding around with Dash on the elephant. So all of the characters also have their own abilities. And you bring those abilities in as well into the toy box. So if I jump off with Dash here, he's actually got the ability to, uh, let's see if I can find it here, so that he can sprint around. There we go, super speed combo. So you've got all these different packs and tools that you can use as well. I got the frying pan here, got a sword, cook them up with a TNT pack, which came out of Lone Ranger. All of these are coming from different places in the playset. set. So the whole idea behind it is as you play more and more, you're able to get uh, more and more built into your into your toy box. Could you show us an example of creating like, I don't know, some simple terrain or yeah, block or something? Let's see if I can get my, uh, my sure can here. Got to get my magic wand. That's such a Disney thing. You need a magic wand, right? Yeah, you need the magic wand. <laughs> Oops, I brought up my, uh, there we go. There we go. So now I've come up onto my... These are all the different things that I can play. So there's the recognizer here that I go through. These are all the different uh, things that I can just drop into the world if I want. And then if I switch around, I can start putting in the bottom. Of these are enemies I can play. I've got other cast members from the other world. Costumes that you can put on all the different characters here. See. Here now I'm getting into the square block, so if I want to edit, uh, I can start putting these down. And I can put a whole bunch of them in a row. If I want to change my gameplay here. Here's the racetrack, you're asking me about that. I'm just kind of uh, kind of playing around with it at the moment. But if I want to put down, like say a track, so I can go ahead and place that one. And I can spend as long as I want to do this sort of thing, and I can create an entire track. And then with my logic toys, I can go and actually put a start gate and an end gate, so I can get with John or other four players. So we so can have need, a race. So you need like specific logic toys to like configure the game. Let's say if you want to create a racing game, you need like specific logic toys, or is yes, that how? but they're included. They're okay. as part of the toy box when you first get it. So and then you just keep unlocking new sets and expanding it. But the initial toy box, the initial starter pack, gives you a whole bunch of toys, and then you just keep unlocking them the more you play. So uh, what platforms is this coming on so far? So it's coming out uh, on the PS3, 
the Xbox 360, the Wii U. We're also having a version for the Wii, and then there's also another version for the uh, 3DS. So, but those other versions are are not uh, the same full featured versions as the main. Would the Wii U use any of the touch features? Because I'd imagine this would probably be much easier on a touch screen. Or like something. We're not using it for editing on the Wii U, but we do allow you to swap your packs around. We, we uh, allow you to follow your missions and that sort of stuff on the touch screen, so okay. yes. Okay, that's cool. And when can they expect to see this? When can they expect this new finish? It comes out August 18th in North America, August 20th worldwide. Okay, so that's pretty soon. Yeah, coming wow, out pretty soon, wait. so we're All almost right. done. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Thank okay, you thank guys. you. All right, thank you very much, guys. Everyone, we're here now checking out the Disney uh, playset, uh, which is different than the toy box. So, uh, uh, Mr. Shane. Shane. Yeah. Uh, how are you today? Great. All right. So, tell us a little more about the Disney Infinity playset. So, the playsets are a four to six hour true to property experience that you're going to get kind of like you're going to get dropped into the world that you're expected, that kind of property, and you're going to get to do all the things you'd expect that you're able to do from that property that you love. And so in cars, we're about racing, tricks, and just talking to the townspeople, talking to the mission givers, and doing things for them, and just doing, running around the world, and pretty much doing whatever you want. <laughs> okay, that's cool. So by playing the play sets, I'm unlocking toys to bring into the toy box. Oh, okay. So they work together, right? Exactly. Okay. So uh, you've got guys like Finn McMissile, I can come over and talk to him, he's gonna give me a mission to do. You can go do it for him. You can have multiple missions active at the same time. There's something we call activities, which are just giant cool things you can do with the gameplay mechanics that utilize oh, those. Cool. So, uh, how many Disney characters are we talking about here on Disney World? Uh, as far as the figures or in the game? Like in the game. Uh, well, Cars has playable four characters that you okay. can be for the figures. And then we've also incorporated lots of the mission givers that are the characters you'd remember from the movie franchise. Okay. Uh, what about like experience points? Because I see you're like collecting coins and uh, like I believe your character is leveling up. Or something? Yeah, so I'm getting sparks to level up, so when okay. I'm in the toy boxes, you to know what level I am, and you're going to collect okay. sparks throughout the game. On top of sparks, though, I'm going to get gold coins, mm. and the coins I use for the toy store. So if I go into this, I go to the toy store. Each playset has their own toy store to unlock all these different toys. Oh, so cool. if I come through here, I can look at, like, okay, I can buy missiles. Yeah. So if I buy missiles, I unlock the missile activity, okay. so I can open up, and they're specifically okay. for that type of toy I bought. So and, I'm, and does it stay... Um, does all that uh, experience and coins and whatever, does it stay all in the in the toy itself or does it stay saved on the memory? Uh, the figure does save oh, what okay. you've got. So the, so so the you figure... can bring it to a friend's. Okay, exactly. yeah, that's what I was going to say because like, you can actually take, let's say, that car and bring it to your, to your friend's house and he has yeah. a Disney Infinity and just plug it in. Exactly. And that's, a, oh, exactly. That's, that's pretty cool. Okay, so uh, I guess that's about it. Thanks a lot, Mr. Yeah, Shane. No all right, have fun playing Disney Infinity. Have and we can't, uh, okay, yeah. okay, see ya.